guys, this is Dr. Sadashivam once again with you. In today's video session, we are going to compare a symphony orchestra with corporate organization. And the theme is teamwork as opposed to individual brilliance. That's what the whole theme is about. I'm sure you must have watched many, many videos on the subject, but I bet that this video is going to give, going to leave a very strong impact on you. Now, when you look at a symphony orchestra, it is very much similar to an organization and many principles that apply to uh, organizations apply to symphony orchestra. Also, you have a music director with his entire paraphernalia of artists, uh, which is very akin to a managing director of the organization. Of course, the director has a group of artists starting from saxophonists, clarionists, pianists, accordionists, vocalists, and each group of uh, artists will be headed by a team leader and from a corporate perspective, it is something akin to uh, department managers in respective organizations. And you also have many sections like you have a percussion section, string section, a wind instrument section, and uh, you have various, uh, uh, like you have departments within a corporate organization headed by department managers. And just as you have a job description in corporate companies, each of these artists have their own rotations and key. And everyone in the symphony need to follow these uh, uh, keys. They have their own scales, their own uh, rhythm and the tempo is always maintained by the conductor of the uh, symphony. Very much like leaders in the organization, like your department manager, divisional manager etc etc and like we discussed you have job descriptions they have notations and these notations are also similar to your process manuals like iso 9001 manual or 14001 you have all these standard operating procedures and each of uh, you know uh, uh, the processes are uh, laid out and much in the same way you have those notations which each artist follow religiously. And of course we talked about the conductor or a director who takes the whole project forward and this is the mechanical aspect of a symphony orchestra. Like you have a corporate company, you have a pecking order, you have a hierarchy, organizational chart, each department have their own objectives and you have these balance scorecard and uh, which measures you have uh, four pillars, your profitability, your finance, sales, manufacturing and set of quality parameters, etc. But is that all? Is it something like a clock, something like a machine and you give the key and everything happens like a machine, right? This is where a leader comes into play and we are going to talk about the human element in the organization which is supposed to be much more effective, much more stronger than processes. Of course, process is important whether it is an organization or it is an uh, orchestra because if you don't have that process or that set of uh, established procedures or organized systems, you won't be able to bring out the right outcome, whether it is an organization or an orchestra. But much more than that, the chemistry between people is extremely important. We'll talk about the orchestra. The chemistry between all the artists is extremely paramount. That human touch, that camaraderie, that bond, that harmony, that bone homie, that brotherhood is extremely important within the team in an orchestra. As you know, in any music orchestra, each of these artists support each other because trust is paramount. Mutual appreciation is extremely important because once in a while somebody makes a mistake, but people don't point it out, people cover it up. It happens in orchestra many times, right? A string might break or for example, when the saxophonist is playing, some buttons may not work 
other artists immediately they come and rescue that guy audience do not have a clue of what is happening and many a times you can have mistakes in notations but they get over all that they ensure that the audience sitting sitting in front of them will not come to know of it they support each other so well so well now if you look at it they follow the rhythm they flow with the swing they follow the keys and the final output is that brilliant piece of music that emerges the rule is very very simple you have your key performance indicators you have your krls key result areas you have annual performance system you have that normal distribution like right? here the final uh, outcome is that beautiful performance and the kpi is a standing ovation if there is no standing ovation and if there is no clap for 3 minutes then you have not done your best that's a simple kpi for that the kpi is so simple there's no room to trade blames guys this guitarist did not play the note properly this uh, accordion accordionist on the seventh note he played a wrong there's no room for all this because everyone takes the blame together and they are aware of it because that decides their success moreover there is a very important aspect and there is no room for individual brilliance individual merits like you say this guy in the string section is the best or this particular girl in the wind section is exemplary she is indispensable there's no indispensability there's no question of all this you wouldn't even know who is who is doing what what their name is ultimately it is the final performance that rich piece of music that matters the credit of the whole thing the music director takes right much like an orchestra even if the best uh, uh, guitarist leaves the orchestra it doesn't make a big difference because some other guitarist will step in he knows the uh, required notes and as long as the director is able to do keep the group together and he is able to create that atmosphere orchestra is one of the best and they will continue to give the best of the best performance now in the context of an organization how would you compare the performance in an organization yes, especially as far as the interdepartmental harmony is concerned with a musical symphony orchestra i don't want to comment much on it i have worked in corporates you have all worked in corporates and we know what the undercurrents what games people play etc we have every brilliant one brilliant guy in every department and if you don't give him a promotion he threatens to resign i don't want to discuss i'm sure each one of you will have some name coming to your mind this requires lot of soul searching and introspection and i leave that to you now we are going to discuss five levels of leadership and this was an exemplary concept by john maxwell i will be coming out with uh, a 16 volume video on this subject and before that i would like to give you a brief you what these five levels are these are a revolutionary concept and each of these are caps concepts but simple concepts but the banner in which he has put out that is exemplary initially it is level 1 level 1 starts with your position typically your designation in the company your job description executive director senior officer whatever you have people working under you because people people will follow you because they have to they have no other option and that is how the pecking order has been designed that's the organizational chart the only downside in this is they don't generally put in their best of the best energy and efforts Uh, in the process right so that's a positional level of a leader which is purely transactionary now position level 2 is permission level when you develop kind of a connect with your employee you develop kind of a chemistry and your subordinates they want to follow you there it's a question of mandate by the organization something mandated dictated by your organizational chart but in the permission level you have connected with them so well 
over a period of time you have established those connections with them and you are a leader whom people like your subordinates like there are certain basic characteristics of such leaders the first is those are the leaders who listen there's something called as a peter's principle and i would like to take it take up this peter's principle in some other video do go through that video right three important the first is the listening and the second characteristic is they observe very well they are very very conscious of their department what their people are what their people are doing what interests them and what kind of leadership can be best adapted to them you have various models of leadership you have situational leadership you have management by walking around host of leadership theories we are not going to get into any of them but just that they know their people so well and they are in a position to connect with them very well thirdly good leaders are often on this uh, thing they listen well they observe well and third they are constantly learning because this attitude of leaders brings in a kind of attitude of servanthood in them now coming to the third level it is the production level that is when people start really start producing exemplary performance exemplary re results one is playing and completing a song but playing the song in the same rhythm in a way that people stand up and clap clap for you matlab you put in your best anybody can play a song okay your job has been done but that's not what they want you played the right notes you kept scale was maintained and that's fine but what makes a standing ovation because something touched the people's heart because everybody in the troop they stretched themselves and here we are talking about the production level where every member in the organization they stretched themselves look at this particular music director look at him he is able to make that connect not just with one artist with all the artists accordionist the guitarist this guy over a period of time in all their practices he has established their connection this music director's presence will do all the match right now if you talk about the level 4 that is the development level that's key to development uh, level because 80% of the success of any organization is on the front door when we talk about front door we are talking about recruitment what kind of people you bring into the organization it is not just enough you bring qualified people inside the organization but where are you putting those guys that is what is extremely important now look at this successful people are good at discovering what they are good at i'm talking about successful people are discovering what they are good at but successful leaders are good at discovering what people working under them are good at and accordingly he gives the right job to the right person so if you recruit well if you position well and if you equip them well that goes the uh, that's the first step towards a successful organization now how do you do that there are lots and lots of theories lots and lots of concepts but for now i would like to enumerate this five step process as explained by john maxwell i will customize it to india so he talks about five the first is i do it second is i do it you are observing me how i am doing it and then there is a third process where you are going to do it and he is going to watch you do that your boss your leader then fourth you will do it on your own and there won't be anybody to supervise because you have that dedication you have that passion and you have started already showing performance now the most important level which is the level 5 that is the summit level that's called a pinnacle level people in your team they start respecting you not because of what your designation is but because of who you are as an individual and what you have done that is what takes you to the pinnacle level and just the designation provided by the company will not give that privilege it depends not on the kind of power you have but how you have used your power in the past to connect with people who work under you right okay guys i'm sure you liked this video 
I've made this comparison between a symphony orchestra and a corporate organization. I'm so eager to hear your comments. Do put your com comments down below. And this is Dr. Sadashivam signing off. Till we meet again. Jai Hind.